green crops and fruit trees in the midst of a drought? In years like this, runoff harvesting systems can mean the difference between a harvest and hunger. Some technologies have been developed by projects, but many all over Africa are farmers' own traditions or their recent innovations. Mase and Zamba Nku is the proud local initiator of one such system, his variation of road runoff harvesting. And Zamba's story was captured in a book, and he's proud of his copy. For 20 years now, he's collected runoff from a road culvert and led it to his farm. The water's progress is guided by reticulating earth buns and ditches. The water spreads out across his fields, sinking into the thirsty soil. He also captures runoff from above his farm and leads that directly to his fruit trees. And Zamba and Ku has no doubts about its value in such a dry location. In this area of Oz, we don't get enough rain. Any crop that needs, say, 10 millimeters of rainfall receives only five. The plants dry up because of the missing five millimeters. And I thought, nobody told me, that I should take that extra water from the road. Such systems remained largely unknown to the scientific community. Yet in Zamba and Ku, in the dry and rugged zone of eastern Kenya, making productive use of road runoff has obvious benefits. And according to him, it protects the environment too. If this water hadn't been captured and led through a furrow to my farm, it would have rushed to the river and been completely lost. And on the way, it would have caused erosion, carrying soil to the sea. That would have left the remaining earth with no richness at all. And Zamba and Ku literally harvest the fruits of road runoff harvesting. Mangoes, bananas, pawpaws and avocados. And so does Samuel Mengi, who has developed his own particular system of capturing water from the road. While this part of Kenya has more rainfall, drought is nevertheless a persistent problem. Like other creative farmers, Samuel saw the opportunity provided by miles of ready-made catchments that crisscross hills and valleys. Before I did it, I, I saw there was a lot of water near my farm, which was wasted because it uh, flowed to the, the river. So I was interested to uh, harvest that water. Here, road runoff is channeled directly into the farm. It passes through a series of simple filters and silt traps and is collected in a pond. The water is then pumped to fruits and vegetables. While such crops bring in much needed income, road runoff harvesting makes food production systems more resilient too and allows crop diversification. Yes, I've done some uh, improvement in other, in other crops, like these mango trees, I uh, also plant beans, maize, 
pigeon peas, cow peas, and so forth. Despite its obvious potential, road runoff harvesting remains largely unrecognized, unappreciated, and unstudied. What we do know is that systems can be divided into those that make use of water from a culvert and those that collect smaller quantities from the road itself. A second division can be made into techniques that simply spread water and those that store it in a pond. Whatever the system, all add extra water to land where it can be used productively instead of causing erosion. Road runoff harvesting makes sense to farmers who live alongside tarmac roads and dirt tracks alike. They are the pioneers. In an age of rapidly changing environments, it's time for development specialists across Africa to take these man-made catchments seriously. We must learn from farmers, but we need to support them too.